Zebra pill bugs, Armadillidium maculatum, are a strikingly patterned species of isopod that can be cultured as vivarium janitors, but are also kept as pets. The basic care requirements for all terrestrial species of isopods are similar, but armadillidium species like this one have some specific preferences that do not apply to all isopod species. Supplies. To culture zebra pill bugs, you will need a culture container. A one gallon to six quart container is a good size. A means of creating ventilation holes in the container, such as a drill or a craft knife. A fine mesh, such as this chiffon. Hot glue or durable tape. An inch or two of moist base substrate. Coconut fiber is recommended. A top layer of substrate. Aspen shavings, such as those sold for use as small animal bedding, are a good addition, as are dry fallen oak and maple leaves. Take care to avoid leaves and wood that have been exposed to pesticides. Prior to use, I bake all leaves and wood at about 200 Fahrenheit to avoid contamination with pest organisms. Zebra pill bugs, like most isopods, also appreciate pieces of flat cork bark as hides. Dechlorinated, distilled, or RO water, a calcium source such as pieces of cuttlebone, a starter culture of isopods. About 10 to 20 individuals are recommended. Setup. Armadillidium species, such as zebra pill bugs, do best with good ventilation. You may cut or drill holes in the upper sides of the container, or on the lid. I often do both. As seen here, I use fabric with a fine weave and hot glue or tape to help prevent pests such as fungus gnats from entering. Now, add the substrate. First, add the base layer of coconut fiber to the container. It should be damp, but not soaked. Then, add the aspen shavings and the leaves. Mist a portion of the container. Armadillidium species, especially zebra pill bugs, seem to prefer somewhat drier conditions than many isopods, so do not dampen all of the substrate. Add your starter isopods. Note that springtails may also be present in the starter culture. If present, springtails do not cause problems for the isopods at all, and can also serve as valuable members of a vivarium cleanup crew. Maintenance. Zebra pill bugs need some humidity, although not as much as some other isopods. Mist one quarter of the substrate about twice per week. This allows the isopods to self-regulate their moisture needs. Though the isopods will eat the leaves, bark, and wood in the culture, they will also benefit from small amounts of a variety of vegetables and fruit, as well as high-protein foods such as fish food pellets. Feed small amounts at first, and remove anything that becomes moldy. Add additional leaves as they are eaten, and replace half of the substrate about twice per year or as needed. As it is inevitable that some isopods will be present in the substrate you remove, you can use the old substrate to seed another culture. Breeding. Zebra pill bugs are one of the most prolific species of isopods I have kept. Even before reaching maximum size, they should begin to produce offspring with no additional effort on your part. The young are pale and very small, and may be difficult to see at first, but they will soon assume the coloration of the adults. They require precisely the same care. If you have any other questions about zebra pill bugs, please leave a comment. While you're at it, please like and subscribe. Thank you.